What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to render a video with a transparent background or a video with an alpha channel background that you could remove which mainly helps out for like lower thirds and any kind of green screen or special effects. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we have Vegas Pro 17 open right here, and I have two files on my timeline. I have one a text media file with no background, and then I have another layer of a background under here just to show you guys an example. So all this text does is simply go from left to right in a span of five seconds. And what we want to do is make this sample text have a transparent background. So we drag and drop it on another video file. All you'll see is the text and you'll, you won't have black background. There are two ways to do this, and one of them is a little more actually outdated, and that one's the most common way of doing it, and that's by doing it with QuickTime and rendering it in a .mov with alpha channel. The other way is the more modern way that hasn't been outdated yet, and that's rendering as an AVI file with an alpha channel background. Now granted, whenever you render with an alpha channel, that means you can remove the background, but it is such a big file size that it's almost absurd. So you really don't want to make a big long video with an alpha channel background. You want to kind of limit it to maybe five or 10 seconds because it's going to be huge. So let's go ahead and show you the first way. Now, the first way we have to do a couple things first. Right off the bat, you need to go and download QuickTime from Apple. They have their own .mov wrapper that they have created, but they do not even support anymore. You can see that the last time they supported this was in 2016. But if you download this codec, it opens up a rendering option inside of Vegas. So download and install QuickTime. And once you're done, you will actually have to go up to options, scroll down to preferences, and from there, go to the deprecated features tab. And under here, you want to enable the QuickTime plugin. Once you've done that, hit apply, and you're going to have to restart Vegas. Once you restart at Vegas, then if you select your whole clip that you want to render, if you go up to file, and then go down to render as, and then in here, you'll see an additional rendering option that just showed up, and it's called QuickTime 7. This was in all the other previous versions, but Vegas 17, you have to enable it now after you've installed QuickTime. So once you do that, go ahead and select the three megabit video option and go down to customize template. Now from here, we're just going to change the settings that match whatever project you have going on. So let's just say I have a 1080p project. I go down there and select 1920 by 1080 frame rate. I want to keep this at maybe 23.9 or 60. Let's just do 60 for right now. Field order. We want this to be a progressive scan. Keep the pixel aspect ratio one. Now video format, we click on this and then we're gonna go up to animation. If you select animation, this renders it with an alpha channel. Compressed depth, we wanna bring that down to 32 BPP. Once you're done with that, make sure your quality is high because when you're rendering an alpha channel, you need the background to be as pristine and high quality as possible to avoid any kind of jagged edges or kind of weird bleed over. For keyframe every frames, I like to keep this at the same rate as my frame rate, so I just go ahead and put it to 60. You can mess around with this and try it and see how it looks. You can try it lower or higher and just see how it works for you. But for me, I'm going to keep it at 60. Audio. You don't have to include audio, especially if you're rendering a lower thirds of some sorts. And so I like to uncheck this one unless I want audio with it. But for this one, I'm not going to include audio. Streaming. Keep this tab the same. And then project video rendering quality. I like to choose best. Let's just call this one transparent background, hit save and okay. And then it'll appear in our templates. I like to favorite by selecting the star and then we're gonna go down and render. Now, before we render, I'm gonna cancel this real quick and remove this background because I almost forgot that. So I'm gonna mute it. So now we have no background. We just have the text with zero background. Another thing I wanna make sure I do when I render these is go to file properties and you gotta make sure your project properties line up with your rendering properties. So I'm gonna change my field order to progressive scan change my frame rate to 60 and then I like to change my full resolution quality to best motion blur type I like asymmetric resample mode disable resample hit apply hit OK and then I select the whole clip go to file render as choose our preset and then hit render okay, took five seconds let's go ahead and open that folder and then bring it in here and we'll see our remove background file and our five second clip with an alpha channel is only 41 megabytes, which isn't bad at all. So what we can do is drag and drop this into our timeline. 
We have our text, which looks pretty good. Now we unmute our background to show you. If we drag it under here, you're going to see it's still a black background. But if you right click on the text file, go to properties down here, and then go to media tab, go to your alpha channel, and then select straight unmatted, and then hit OK. It removes the background. So you now have a video with a removable background, which is great for like lower thirds and stuff like that. So the next way of doing it, let's go back to our initial clip right here. If we select the whole thing, go to File, Render As. Then we want to go down to Video for Windows. Select on that one. Let's go ahead and select one of the bottom ones, HD, 24P, 25P. Let's just do the last one, and we're going to customize it by hitting the Customize Template button. Once you do that, make sure your frame size is correct. Then make sure your frame rate is correct. So I'm going to do 60. Field order, progressive scan, pixel aspect ratio 1, video format. So for an AVI to have an alpha channel background, you'll see at the bottom here, uncompressed video formats are the only ones Vegas can render with an alpha channel. So the only uncompressed one we have right here is uncompressed. Once you select that, then if you check this box down here, then it's going to render with an alpha channel. Interleave frame, I'm going to go ahead and put this at 0.60, which is what I like to have my interleave frames at. You can keep the bottom box checked. Go to audio. I'm not going to include audio. You can if you want. Of course, it's all based upon your project. Then you go to project and do video rendering quality, best. And then we're going to save this again. As transparent background, hit save, hit OK. Let's favorite it. And then we're going to name it a little bit different. Remove background to hit .avi, and then hit render. Again, took them only five seconds to render, which is no big deal. So let's open that folder. And then here's our second one. So we go to, we select it. We can see that this five second clip is 2.3 gigabytes in size. Now that is an uncompressed high, ultra high quality video file that's unnecessarily big but it does the job. So we drag that onto our timeline. Then we see it works just like our normal file. In fact, it looks a little smoother than the .mov. And if we drag our background under it, again, it'll be black. We right click on the video file, go down to properties, go to media, choose our alpha channel right here and do straight unmatted. Hit OK. And then bam, we now have a removable background again. Now those are the two ways of removing a background in a video. Now the QuickTime.mov way is outdated and it hasn't been updated for a while and it probably will not be updated. So the differences you'll see between rendering each one is the .mov may be a little bit less quality. It may be just a little hair glitchy or framey compared to the .avi. But you'll see that the file size is significantly lower than the .avi as well. So that's kind of what you got to pick and choose your battle. You either go .mov with slightly less quality, just a hair, but a smaller file size, or .avi with the highest quality video, but a massive file size. You know, it's your call to do whatever you want, but I just wanted to show you that you could do it two different ways. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope it helped you out, and if it did, maybe shoot a like down there. That'd be pretty cool. And also, if you wanted to subscribe, I got plenty of other Vegas Pro 17 tutorials on my channel. So thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my super patrons, HPL Gamers and LMC.